goods to that crap. What? You dress how you want. You dress how you want. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about the fashion mistakes of fall. Actually, I like that title. That might be it. Some of these apply year round, but overall, a lot of these apply to this season. I just wanna bang them all out, go through them all, see if you see yourself in any of them, because I know I did in a couple of them, and give you some tips as well on how to flip those mistakes. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the gift that I want to give one of you lot out there just to say thank you for subscribing to my Karen Britchick world on YouTube. Now the first one is, especially coming into the fall transitional season, you know how you see those polar neck tops? You know the sleeveless ones? So it's like tall here, but it's sleeveless or so your arms are out. Avoid wearing that with a mini skirt or a short skirt because honestly it just looks a bit funny having your arms out and your legs out both are out at the same time it's always better if you can to do the either or approach so if you're wearing a short skirt then go with something that's more covering up top and vice versa another one is to just avoid over volumizing you know on this channel i talk about oversizing size up size up but be careful on how you manage that together because it's always about the yin and the yang generally speaking avoid wearing like a chunky fisherman knit together with a large maybe corduroy velvet just two heavy materials together and they're both oversized it can have a sort of sack effect on your body the point is just to avoid thicker fabric up top, thicker fabric at the bottom, and pairing them together in two big sizes. Oh my God, yeah, this is a good one. Don't wear skirts that stop at the middle of your calf. Avoid buying a skirt where the hemline stops wallop right at the largest part of your calf, because to the human eye, what that does is if someone's looking at you and you're wearing a skirt that that stops at that length, it just, to them, makes your whole leg feel like it just goes like that forever and ever because it's stopping at that widest part of you. Try and get a hemline that stops completely below your calf. If it's stopping at the more narrow part of you, that looks so wicked. I do that all the, did I just say wicked? Yes, I just did. I do that all the time and it's just my fail safe trick now. Oh, leading on from that, don't do elastic bands, girls. I mean, I think you lot already know about elastic bands by now and what that does here, because all it does is do this, because that, there's the elastic band, and then you're, the rest of you goes like that. And that just makes you feel like a stuffed sausage, or it has that appearance. No, 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 always avoid that. If you have anything that has that already, you think, oh, but I like this skirt, even though it's got an elastic band partially cover it a little bit or cover it a little bit wear like an oversized jumper an oversized v-neck maybe something that's like in a thinner knit maybe just do a partial tuck at the front here but leave the rest completely covered so it's not doing that whole like on the sides oh my god avoid oh, please avoid the pockets on jeans that look like the size of a postage stamp i know i'm exaggerating here but when you get those pockets on jeans, ladies, you may have already seen them. The jean is like this, this is your butt. And then you get these pockets on them that are this small. I've seen them. So another fashion mistake, do not wear mohair jumpers you know the ones that are very sort of fluffy? There are some women who still wear those, because I know a lot of you don't. Some of you still do. Don't team those with corduroy pants or jeans that tend to, if you've noticed, they always pick up like the lint of that flipping jumper. How annoying is that? It's the most, oh, I have a gorgeous H&M jumper that I love to wear. It's mohair, it's fluffy, it's navy, it's everything. It's as warm as a coat. 
I wore that once with like a fabric material and thigh high boots and it just went all over those leggings. It went on the suede boot. Oh, it was a disaster. Instead, faux leather leggings. Faux leather leggings or faux leather jeans or pants. Because the material is just very smooth, the mohair has nothing to cling to. It's genius. And it looks so good together, mixing those two textures. If you're in between sizes on a leather jacket, don't go up. Six months, no, three months down the road of wearing that jacket more or less every day, you're gonna thank me. Leather gives, it always does, especially with leather jackets. They start to stretch out because leather is a skin. It just loosens and it slowly gets slightly larger on you, but it conforms to your body beautifully. But just a general rule of thumb, if you are in between sizes on a leather jacket, one feels a little bit, oh, it's a little bit tight. Then I go up a size and I go, oh, this is very loose and goosey. Go back, you know, the smaller one, that is the one you want. See how that jacket size is gonna fit you down the road. It's gonna be perfect. Oh my gosh, don't leave that cross stitch at the back of coat hems. That's so true. You know when you buy a new coat and you know how the coat, you know the back slit, like the vent at the back, the back of the hem of it, how the, when you buy it, the manufacturer usually puts, when it's closing the vent of it, the split, they usually put like a cross, like an X loose stitch. Ladies, please cut that off. I've seen women, women walking down the street with that on. Set it free, set it free. You know, it just looks so much better. You'll be able to see the flash of your boots as you're walking, someone is behind you. Don't just think about the front, ladies. Always think about the back. You're a 360 person. You look in the mirror, you go, yes, I look fine. No, you don't, check the back. Oh, another one. This is more of an evergreen sort of mistake, but I think it also especially applies right now because this is when I think, and during the fall, that we're starting to stock up more on new boots, new ankle boots in particular. Please take the bloody sticker off the bottom of it. I know, you know, that when you walk down the street and you see a woman in front of you and she's walking and you just see that flash of that little white rectangle, no matter how lovely her shoe is, my eye just goes da -da 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 -da. It's tiny, isn't it, that? But look how much it stands out. Take it off, take it off, take it off. I've been guilty of leaving it on. I've been guilty of partially ripping it off and going, oh, it's fine, it's good enough. No, it's not. When it's partially on, we can still see it. Take the bloody things off. Also, just keep in mind your body shape. If you are short, and you know that you're interested in everything oversized and really long, but you know that it's kind of overwhelming you, you don't always have to do it. Don't feel like you are a slave to the full fashion magazines when you like flick through or you scroll through and everyone's in giant size this and big size that and you're thinking to myself, yeah, but when I wear that, I look so small. Don't always feel that you have to be a slave to the full fashions. You always pick what is relevant to your particular body shape. And that information applies to whatever size you are. So I asked on my Snapchat if they had any fashion mistakes for fall that they have noticed themselves. One is by, her name is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correct, sorry if I am. Her name is Katura Hariel, I believe. And she said, not dressing in layers. That to me, that's her speaking, is a fashion mistake. The temperature ranges from summer to winter weather, which it does during the fall. So it's best to dress in layers and be prepared. I so agree with that statement. I can apply that rule so much to myself as well. We're so eager during the fall to just jump into wearing sweaters and to wear in the coats and to bust it out with the new boots that we just got. And all of a sudden we go outside and it's like, Oh God, it's so hot. And you've got to like take layers off. Take layers off, that is the whole point. Dress in layers. Wear a t-shirt, first of all. Maybe put, wear just a t-shirt and then just wear a jacket over that. A fairly warmish jacket, whether it's a wool blazer or a semi-wool blazer, or maybe a good leather jacket or a suede motor jacket. And maybe bring a scarf with you so that if it does get chillier, you can bust out the scarf. 
if it's actually unusually warm that day, you can put that scarf away. You could even take that leather jacket off. You can either just leave it over your shoulders draped very casually, but at least you're not like suffocating in wearing a jumper. Another mistake is do not feel that because it's moving into the chillier season that you have to wear all black or you have to wear dark colors. I understand the thinking behind it, but please don't feel like you're falling into a trap every year, same rut, where you're wearing black all the time. Of course, occasionally I still wear all black, but that's because I really want to and I'm deliberately doing it and I'm mixing textures. Remember, I've told you about mixing textures when you're wearing one color. The point is, when it's fall, don't feel that you automatically have to wear dark colors. The fabrics already are very heavy. It doesn't mean you have to make the colors heavy as well. Of course, if you are that kind of girl who only likes to wear black, rock it, because that may be your signature anyway. But just speaking in general, come out of that comfort zone. Don't feel that you have to wear dark colors every single fall, every single winter. Yes, I understand, the streets get dirty, it gets muddy, it's wet, it's chilly, everyone wants to pull on that black coat. I get that appeal, but if you want to try it, take baby steps. Loafers, do it in a loafer. Loafers are comfortable, right? Maybe get a loafer that isn't a punchy color because you know that your wardrobe is very, very dark for winter. It's fall, make this the season, make this the year that you don't. This one to me applies year round, but I'm going to put it in this video because this video is specifically about mistakes. Do not let anyone tell you that you are supposed to dress a certain way because of your age. So many people tell me in the comments, oh my gosh, I love that thing you're wearing, I love those boots you're wearing, or I love that red top you're wearing, but I don't think so because I'm 50, or I don't think so because I'm 40. One of my followers has told another follower on my channel, there is no expiration date on style. You dress based on your confidence level, your body shape, and if it really does flatter you, regardless of age, and your aesthetic. What type of person are you? If you're a rocker chick person at 70, 80, 90 years old, then flipping wear those, I don't know, pointy boots and those faux leather jeans and those biker jackets, because that's who the you are, so just wear it. I understand that women, oh, you know what, I hate those magazines and um, oh my God, those morning shows that do, oh, coming up next, we're doing how to dress for different ages, how to dress in your 20s, 30s, 40s. Bollocks to that crap. What? You dress how you want. You dress how you want. Okay, so now it's time for the subscriber thank you giveaway. All right, so here it is. <laughs> so like I said, thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I have reached 50,000 subscribers. <gasps> I remember when I was at 5,000 subscribers, but to get to 50,000 is just... Anyway, all I can say is thank you Thank you, thank you. And this is a little something, as always, from me to you. This is my third giveaway for this, this 2017. So I hope you like this. This is something that I personally um, have been using for years. It's basically what I love, and I'm giving it to you. It is a set of diptych scented candles. It is the smaller size candles. They are, to me, a treat. Now the three fragrances that are inside are Figure, Bay and Roses. Now the assistant told me that the two top sellers from Diptyque are Bay and Figure, if that sounds, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, and Roses is also a seller, a top seller of those. Okay, so that is what is inside of here and it's, like I said, it's a trio set. I smell them, I've actually owned the Bay Actually, I still have bay and roses. The roses smells exactly like fresh cut roses. They really do what they say. Anyway, I don't need to sell it on to you. But if you are interested in this giveaway, I am going to 
give this away to one of you who's been following me on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to win this is to leave a comment below in this video telling me that yes, I'm in and I want to win it. And I will announce the winner next week Friday. So in next week Friday's video, I will announce on here, I'll say their name, I'll probably put like a screenshot of their name as well, like I did before, um, who won. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's just a little something from me to you. The giveaway is opened worldwide. Anyway, that is it. That is my lot completely now. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye, and thank you again. To me, these are the top things or hacks or ideas that you should stop doing. So these, to me, are the top things to avoid doing Oh. <laughs> that we all, myself included, fall into what is all of this? Like I'm trying to do sign language and give you some tips as well to how to sort of stop those and give you some tips as well and give you some tips. Also, at the end, oh, there's hair in my freaking eye. Oh, it's still there. I'm going to cut it off as well how thin the weight is of that fabric how thin is the fa how it also ugh. leather jackets everyone's looking at leather jackets at the moment i did a video about leather jacket no i didn't <laughs> mm, maybe i should though i know you know what the hell is that if you liked anything that i said in this video please do give it a thumbs up god that sounds desperate it's still the I still see you this to me is the biggest one although this one to me applies a year round what is that if any of these mistakes if any of these gave if any of what Karen if any of what